This is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks bringing you the Daily Spy Report for Friday, November 19th, 2021. I got a couple of things to say before we jump into the charts. First and foremost, please click like and subscribe. Subscribing uh, to the Wicked Stocks YouTube channel will provide you notifications each and every time the Daily Spy Report has been uploaded for your viewing, usually by 6 p.m. or earlier Central Standard Time Chicago, each and every trading day for the next trading day. And second, Secondly, I just want you to know that I'm going to try to uh, reduce the length of these videos. Uh, they're they're going out to eight to twelve minutes typically, and uh, you know the average viewer is watching it about four minutes. I, I know that there's probably a lot of fast forwarding to key points, and you know I get redundant. I repeat myself a lot. That adds to editing. Also, might add to potential boredom when you're watching this. So it'll it may benefit both of us if I can sort of cut to the chase. Uh, and the reason I'm really bringing this up because if you notice uh, a reduced video length and if that if you find it insufficient to really convey the points I need to convey, then please let me know. Uh, you can write messages in YouTube and so forth. I'll definitely be watching those. But I'm going to try to sort of get these down to five minutes. Uh, I've already eaten a minute up as it is, so I don't know if today's is going to succeed or not, but just know that going into next week. And uh, secondly, on all that... You know, I've been including including the dollar and gold and other related markets oftentimes. I think those will be extra supplementary videos that you're going to be seeing on the Wicked Stocks YouTube channel here in the weeks ahead. So rather than combining them with spy analysis, they will be uh, analysis that will stand on their own uh, independently. So there's that. Let's jump to the charts for Friday, November 19th. Once again, just want to remind you, long-term resistance up above at 475.92 that we've tested a couple times over the last few months, most recently two weeks ago, and below which the market, because of its long-term resistance, uh, can grow heavy into later year and into Q1 perhaps. I'm not expecting to see 424.13, the channel bottom upon which that trend line is based, anytime soon. You never know. But I do think what may be realistic is the 438.81 intermediate channel structure that may actually be in reach by the end of December, so long as we continue placing daily settlements at or below that 475.92 long-term trend line. Now, let's talk, take a look at the near-term scope. You're probably familiar with this combination speed line, channel, bottom. I like to keep it simple. Uh, 468.21 to 468.79 today. I am going forward, going to at least for today and maybe into early next week, just eliminate the speed line, uh, the uh, channel bottom and opt for the speed line, which is a little lower in value. It keeps things simple. 468.21 today is the support that can contain selling into next week and above which the short-term dynamic, you know, into next week, the next three to five days, remains constructive, actually, above 468.21. That 475.92 long-term trend line in reach over the next three to five days. Now, upside today, yes, still have 470.65, the move high from a couple of weeks ago that we essentially retested a few days ago. We rallied just shy of it and backed off. It is still there, but I've reduced it to just a pure minor point only, and I'm opposite opting more for 472.63 simple rising channel structure over the last week of trade that if tested today can certainly contain initial buying pressures possibly for the day but by that point in time you know Friday and all Friday afternoon if the market tests that level early we may back off it a bit but watch for the late afternoon rally pushing through 472.63 would actually allow the 475.92 trend line on an intraday basis this is the way the support and resistance looks for today you got the the 468.21 rising speed line, able to contain selling into next week. And as I say above, which 475.92 in reach over the next three to five days. On the way up today, that 472.63 uh, short-term rising channel top, able to contain initial buying pressures. Uh, yet if we push through it, 475.92 is actually in reach today, where we can top out through the rest of November, possibly through the rest of the year. And as I say, below which the market can develop longer term overbought trade and fall back into the 440s, say by the end of the year. But 
You know, if we close above 475.92 today, uh, then we have ourselves a long-term buy signal. I can give you all the little levels all the way up, and I will next week if we close today above 475.92. But just a reminder that if we do close above 475.92, the next three to five months shows a con uh, um, consistent bull move, in my opinion, that 523.83 long-term channel top then considered a realistic three to five month upside objective. Let's talk downside today. If we happen to break or open below 468.21, the 461.87 formation is in reach today, especially being a Friday and all. On the way down, we've got initial support at 466.26. You can see it on the support and resistance area here. So breaking 468.21, yes, 466.26 can contain initial selling, get a nice bounce there. But if we keep holding below 461, 468.21 into the afternoon, uh, don't be surprised to see 461.87 by the closing bell where we can place a daily low. And once again, if we close today below 468.21, then uh, I expect 461.87 into early next week if we don't test it today. That 453.19 to 54.05 area over the next uh, week or two, I don't think three is likely yet. Uh, I'd say by the next two weeks, uh, we should then retest that high area from uh, early September where we could bounce nicely for a week or so. But as I've been saying, because we've actually tested long-term resistance, the market may be drawn to long-term support over the weeks ahead. So closing below 468.21, uh, you should at least allow for that 438.81 channel bottom by the end of December, which by that point in time will be in the 440s and able to contain selling uh, into January trade. Uh, let's jump very briefly to the Dow. Just want to let you know that the Dow is now below the low of the high week. In other words, the, a couple of weeks ago, we put out the move high. That low was 359.38. We are trading below it right now. And the channel structure at 359.89, we're below both of them. I think the Dow, personally, I'd like to see the Dow rally. Uh, Friday and get up and over at least 359.38 and more than uh, more ideally above 359.89. So if it can do that today, if the Dow can close above 359.89, it is still technically in a longer term bullish structure where I'm expecting follow through buying over the next uh, three to five months. I gave those targets in uh, an earlier weekly video on the Dow. Uh, but if we close below 359.38 today in the Dow, uh, that smells to me like a failed long-term buy signal, and the Dow can then ease back over the next three to five weeks. So I would have to say that if we close below 359.38 today, the S&P, the SPY, has not mustered much of a rally today itself and may have actually closed below that critical support level that I outlined earlier at 468.21. And finally, we'll take a quick look at the IWM, the Russell 2000. It is also not only below those convergent channel structures, 237.63 to 37.91, but also below the low of the high week. When we put the high out a couple of weeks ago, that low was 236.31, and we're now trading in the 234 handle. So if the Russell 2000 closes today below 236.31, failed long-term buy signal, and it can ease back into the 210s by the end of the year, and I showed that as well in that weekly video last Sunday. I think that that's all that needs to be said. I'll leave you with the support and resistance level for Friday, November 19th. I hope the video wasn't too short. Please leave your remarks if you have any. Uh, please click like and subscribe. Once again, subscribing to the Wicked Stocks YouTube channel will provide you notifications each and every time the Daily Spy Report has been uploaded for your viewing. You have a great weekend, and we will talk Sunday afternoon.